All right, I needed to go on a little more about the love that I'm talking about from my last video. This is where I'm going to probably piss off a number of people, and that's okay. When it comes to Abrahamic beliefs, when I say that people have their beliefs out of love, it's often the kind of love that you have with a controlling, abusive relationship with a narcissist. Yeah, God loves you as long as he gets you to change all of your self-control and revolve it completely around his rules. Everything you think about, everything that you do, every step you take, think of what God wants. Now, maybe it doesn't go quite that far with some people, but with some it does. Now, I mean, he could have just simply not given us free will to begin with, but instead he gives us free will and then punishes us unless we follow his rules. You know, punishes us if we don't look at the world according to the way that he wants us to look at it. Deny what he wants us to deny. Declare what he wants us to declare. Otherwise, we'll burn in hell for eternity. And if we do follow all of his rules, or, you know, we mess up a lot, but we pray to Jesus every time we do, then we can spend the rest of eternity groveling at his feet. Yeah, that's a really loving, caring guy with great morals. I'm told that I have no right to judge God's morals. That I essentially, essentially, should just shut up and take it like a good, God-fearing Christian American. Because that's what love is, right? Yeah, it's love, all right. Love in a controlling, abusive relationship with a narcissist. Now, if you've thrown out most of the Bible or the Quran, and you just like the feel-good element of being able to connect with what you view as the Creator, then great. It's not abusive to you, and in turn, it's not going to be abusive to other people. People who throw out a lot of the Bible generally don't go around telling people that, uh, oh, I think you're going to burn in hell for eternity, yet they, they don't go around doing that. They don't go around judging people for what they think God wants, you know? So tell me more about how great of a guy this God character is that you find in the Bible, and how I have no right to judge his morality. Anyway.